Hello guys, welcome back. I just thought I'd bring you a quick ring video and show you some of my yard sale finds as I mentioned in my last video. Got my nails done. Purple with sparkles, I love them. So, my left hand is the same of course. But my right hand has some different rings on them today. So, my thumb, I have this pretty heart ring. It's very art-like. It's scrolly. It looks kind of like a freeform heart. Really pretty. I love this one. Have you noticed that I tend to wear hearts on my thumbs? It's kind of weird. I realize that, like, my thumb rings, a lot of them are hearts. My skin is so dry, guys. I'm sorry about that. But, yeah, I love it. It's really pretty. One of my favorites. On my pointer finger, I have this really pretty leaf ring. I love this leaf. I can't think of the name of the tree this leaf comes off of at the moment, but... I really, really like this. It looks really organic. Lots of nice detail to it. Super pretty. And it's really, really, really comfortable. It's a little big on me, but that's okay. So there's that one. This one is one of my favorites. I love this ring. It's just simple mother of pearl on sterling silver. But it's absolutely one of my favorites. It's my go-to middle finger ring. When I can't think of what to wear, I pull this thing out. I love it. I got this off of eBay. It's not super colorful like some other pearl is, but I love the shine of it. And it's so smooth. It's one of those rings you just kind of rub. So I really like that one. Lots of sterling silver. This seller like disappeared off of eBay. I don't know what happened. I don't know if they got kicked off or if they closed shop or what. But I was so sad because I bought this ring in a ring lot. It had like nine rings in it and I won the lot for like $22. So I was really sad to see that they disappeared because I had just discovered them like a week before they disappeared. And I was so excited because I won this ring a lot and then they were gone. So I was really sad. On my ring finger, I have this huge, awesome scrolly ring. I have had this ring for a while. I think probably like two years. But I've hardly ever worn it because, I don't know, for some reason I went through this phase where I only wore like little rings and I stacked them up. But now I realize that I like the big chunky rings sometimes. So I decided to start wearing my chunkier rings. So I'm definitely going to wear this one more than I have because... I think it's really cool looking. It's a big statement ring. It's over an inch long. And I have short fingers, so <laughs> it touches my my knuckle. But it doesn't bother me because it's super comfortable. This one has just been sitting in my jewelry box for a couple years. And I was like, oh, well, that's kind of dumb. Let's pull this out and see how it looks. And I really like the way it looks. So. And it's really comfortable on the back. It's thin. So I think that's why it doesn't bother me. If it was like wide all the way around, I wouldn't like it so much. But I love this one. I need to wear it more. No more sitting in the jewelry box, not wearing it. And then on my pinky, I just have this little amethyst flower ring. I love amethyst. It's one of my favorite stones. And I just have a bunch of amethyst, but this is my only pinky ring, and I need to get more. But it's really pretty. Really simple, small band in the back. But it hasn't bent, so that's good. 
So those are the rings I'm wearing today. What do you guys think? I love them. I find that when I wear bigger rings on my middle finger and my ring finger, I like to wear smaller rings on my pinky and my index finger. Because as you guys know, I wear rings, ooh, sorry, I'm having a little camera issue. I wear rings on every single finger, all the time. So, I really, sorry guys, my camera's like falling off the stand right now. I really, um, kind of have to figure out what to wear where. <laughs> so, that's how I wear them today. So something else I was going to tell you guys about was my yard sale finds. I go yard sailing every summer. And, well, for the past few years I have anyway. Um, I specifically hunt for jewelry. Specifically rings, because that's what I dig. That's my thing. And my boyfriend hunts for his stuff. So we go together. And we always look for what we look for. And it's like a big treasure hunt for me. So I wanted to show you the first 10 rings that I found yard sailing. And we will keep going through my collection. The first one is this pretty turquoise ring. It's green turquoise. And it's got this pretty leaf detail. Rope edging around it. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm sorry. Having technical difficulties. Um, and it's just really, really, really pretty. I think I paid, like, 25 cents for this one. And it's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite rings. I wear that on my ring finger, because it's a size 7. But I really, really, really like it. Super pretty. I'm not sure if the stone is natural because it doesn't have any matrix or anything in it, but I still love it. It's still one of my faves. So not bad for a quarter. The next one that I got is this pretty thing. This looks like an Australian opal doublet. And it's got a bezel set ruby right there. I actually got this one at the same yard sale as the last one. I bought a box of rings. I think there was like 12 or 13 rings in this box. And the lady had it marked for $3 a piece. And I was like, well, how much for all? And she was like, make an offer. And I said, five bucks. And she's like, sure. So I was like in shock that she said, sure, that quickly. And I was like, all right, well, deal. So... I bought the whole box. And these are my favorites out of that one. That was probably the best yard sale find of the summer before last. I really like this ring. I wear it on my ring finger as well because it's smaller. It is cracking, this opal. So I need to see if I can get it fixed or sealed or something so it doesn't keep continuing to crack. It looks like it was hammered to size it maybe on a mandrel. So I think it's handmade. But that one's super pretty. Lots of silver. The next one I got was from the same box of rings. And it's this one. It's a garnet. And it's got pretty scroll work on the edges and rope detail around the stone. This also goes on my ring finger. This lady was super tiny, so all of her rings were like size 6s and 7s. So I got a lot of ring finger rings off of that find. But I love this ring. I love garnets. My birthstone is ruby, but garnets have always been one of my favorites. So that was a good find. I love it. The next ring I have is this one. It's just a heart band ring. It's like scrolly hearts, and they're alternating. And the hearts almost go all the way around. There's just a sizing band back there. I think I paid like a quarter for this, so it was a great find. I love this ring. Not bad for a quarter. 
I love hearts, if you can't tell. I have a lot of heart jewelry. The next one I got is this pink cubic zirconia ring. This was a really good find. I had found this in a bag of jewelry on a table. There was actually two bags, and they were like sandwich Ziploc bags, and the price was like 50 cents a bag, and I saw this ring and a couple other sterling silver rings in one of the bags, so I grabbed both of them. And it was a really good find. For a dollar, I think I pulled out like between the two bags, five sterling silver rings, a couple of bracelets, a couple pendants with chains, and a couple pairs of earrings. There was some costume jewelry in it, but I think for a dollar, that was a great find. I love this ring. This is like my go-to ring when I can't figure out what to wear. Because it's simple. And I stack it with a lot of stuff. So that was a good one. The next one I found... I think it was this summer I found this one. I found this blue topaz ring. And it's just a really simple band that kind of wraps around the stone. I wear this on my middle finger. I love this ring. I think I got this for a quarter or 50 cents, something really cheap like that. But it's a great colored stone. And genuine sterling silver. Really comfortable ring, too. So there's that one. And then, going along with the wrap rings, I found this guy, which I love. It's a blue opal. I'm not sure if it's genuine or lab-created. It looks lab-created to me. Could be wrong, but... I got this one, and I think I paid a quarter for it. I wear this on my middle finger. And it is very, 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 very pretty. I love this ring. One of my favorites, because again, it's a heart. I'm sorry I'm not showing these on my fingers this time, guys. I'm pretty much holding my camera, because I'm having camera stand issues so sorry I'm not modeling these this time there's that one the next one I have is this one this is super pretty it's a rose and then you can see the the stem the other rose there some leaves I really like this ring. I got this one for like 10 cents. It was so cheap. And it's got a lot of silver. It is so pretty. One of my favorites. I love flowers. And my mom always grew roses as a kid. So when I wear this ring, I think of her and her love for roses and flowers. And I usually stack this one. It's a very small ring, so I stack it with band rings or that pink ring. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, I usually do something like this. I'll stack these two together. And wear them together like that. And that'll be on my ring finger. I'll do that with... So... I love that one. And then my last two are spoon rings. I really like spoon rings. So this one I found, I think I paid a quarter for it. It's really, really, really simple. It's only got a little bit of design on the handle up here. But I paid like 50 cents for this. And it's a really, really, really pretty high polished sterling silver ring. And I love spoon rings, so I grabbed this as soon as I saw it. Spoon rings are one of my favorite rings. I used to have a huge collection of them, but I adjusted them too much or bent them out of shape too much, so I kind of scrapped those. So I'm trying to rebuild my collection. So there's that one. And then finally, 
my absolute favorite spoon ring is this one. I like it because it's scrolly and it's very comfortable. A lot of silver in it. I think I paid like a quarter for this. <laughs> I love yard sailing, guys. I find so many good deals. The only thing about yard sailing to find jewelry is I have to beat a lot of people because there's a lot of other people that do it too. So I literally get up at 6 in the morning to go yard sailing. So I'm there early for the sales or the first one as soon as they start so I can grab any jewelry I find. So... I don't have a lot of luck with the thrift stores around here because I live in Michigan and it seems like all of our thrift stores, like our Goodwills or our Salvation Armies, um, go through all the jewelry and scrap the silver and gold because I really have never found anything great at the thrift stores. So I go yard sailing and I buy off eBay. That's pretty much how I get all of my rings, unless they're gifts from my boyfriend. So, there's that one. I love that one. It's one of my favorites. What do you guys think? Do you like this one better? Or the simple one better? Simple one's shinier. But, I don't know. I really like the scroll work in this one. It's unique. So, I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm seeing my viewers go up, which is really um, exciting for me. So please don't forget to subscribe to my videos. I will show you guys more as long as I keep getting views. I really love doing these videos. I love sharing my jewelry with you guys and my taste with you guys. So I really hope that you enjoy my videos. And I try to keep them somewhat short and sweet because... I don't want to do my whole collection at once because I need content. <laughs> and I'm planning to show you guys um, any little hauls that I get, any eBay purchases I buy, or any yard sales when it turns summer again. Any finds I find from those. So I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for watching. And like and subscribe my videos so you can see more. Thank you. Bye, guys.